Good evening, dear. You're watching To The Point. I'm Preeti Chaudhary. One comment by Mahua Moitra on Makali on the India Today platform at the Conclave, India Today Conclave East has completely have, has had her cornered. The BJP attacking her, her own party, the TMC, practically forsaking her. Take a look at this report. One's version of Kali. Kali to me is a meat-eating, um, you know, um, 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 alcohol um, um, accepting goddess to me. That is the version of Kali. And the remark on India Today Conclave East that sparked the Kali storm. And now days on, the Trinamool Congress Member of Parliament, Mahua Moitra, remains in eye of the Kali storm. At this point, uh, again, I'd like to ask you, is there any disciplinary action you are mulling over? Is that a discussion within your party right now? All matter, we shall take a decision at the appropriate The public snub came two days after the TMC had officially slammed Mahua's statement on Kali being a meat-eating, alcohol-accepting goddess, leading a sulking Mahua to unfollow her own party handle on social media site Twitter. Crucially, Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee offered no support to Mahua officially while breaking her silence and referring to mistakes made by people. Apni jokhon ekta bachchat jono kichu toiri korven, apna ke potho me bachcha shazte hobe, apnar monta ke bachchar moto hote hobe, tobe kintu apna ke bachcha ke bachchar moto shikha jite parven. Protesters seeking action against Mahua were unrelenting. The BJP staged multiple stirs, seeking sacking of Mahua, using her remarks to paint Mamata Banerjee as anti-Hindu. केवल ट्वीट करके अपने आप को पल्ला झाड़ने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं, परंतु अभी तक कोई कार्रवाई नहीं की है। दूसरे मामलों में तो तीन-तीन चार-चार लोकाउट नोटिसेस, तीन-तीन चार-चार एफआईआर पुलिस की टीम अलग-अलग प्रदेशों में चली जाती है हिंदू आस्था पर करो चोट ताकि मिले वोट इस प्रिंसिपल पर चलते हुए महुआ मित्रा को बचाया जा रहा है जे ভাবে তারা চিৎকার করেছিল রূপু শর্মাকে গ্রেফতারির দাবিতে তাহলে নিজের দলের লোকজন যদি এই ধরনের কথাবার্তা বলে তখনও তাদের গ্রেফতারি করার প্রয়োজন আছে আমি এই তৃণমূলের তুষ্টিকরণ রাজনীতিকে ধিক্কার জানাই এবং সমস্ত নেতাকে তৃণমূলের আমরা অনুরোধ করছি যে আপনারা ক্ষান্ত হন হিন্দুদের এইভাবে বিদ্বেষ ছড়ানো থেকে না হলে আমরা এই সরকার চলতে দেব না এই স্টেট চলতে দেব না দরকার হলে এলাকায় স্তব্ধ করে দেব বাট মাউয়া মৈত্রা কন্টিনিউস টু হিট ব্যাক অ্যান্ড দিস টাইম উইথ আ পোয়েটিক জাইব রিলিজিং আ পোয়েম টাইটেলড বি কেয়ারফুল মাহুয়া But adding to Trinamool and Mahua's predicament, Islamist PFI came out backing the TMC MP, saying the Sanghis are rattled by her courage. Bureau Report, India Today. So I guess viewers, one really doesn't have to say it. Mahua Moitra has found herself in the eye of a huge political storm. Uh, to take it from here, joining me is uh, Sakit Gokhale, spokesperson. TMC, Sanju Varma, spokesperson, Bharatiya Janata Party, Jayanta Ghoshal, consulting editor. Before I cut across to our political panelists, I want to cut across uh, to our consulting editor, Mr. Ghoshal. Um, Jayanta, you know, the fact is, the party could have TMC, because you follow the TMC very closely, you know the internal workings of the party and what's really going on behind, uh, uh, you know, the face of it all, could have distanced itself from Mahua Moitra's comment. The party chose not just to distance itself, to condemn it. And this afternoon, we spoke to a senior leader from the TMC, uh, Shogata Roy, and he actually came and said, uh, Janto, that uh, the party is also contemplating action against Mahua Moitra. What's really going on in the back room of the Trinamool Congress? Uh, Priti, that day when Koshik Deka, our editor, was asking the question, I am the witness, I was there in that Calcutta session. And as a journalist, my 40 years of experience, it's a brilliant story indeed, because Kaushik was not aggressive. He was asking the question, and again and again, she said this. And actually, if you go to the content, now after the session, I talked to Mohua also, and Mohua said, I don't know the film director, I don't know the poster, I didn't say anything about the, uh, uh, the smoking Kali, but at, it, was, it was only for the Bengali style of worship. But you know why Mamta reacted? Because BJP, Mohua Maitra, I'm telling you the inside story, that she was in London two days back before mm -hmm. this uh, session of our India Today conclave, and she landed, she didn't know and these things, but you should know. 
as a politician if you don't know the contextual reference because you are not saying anything on the poster but the question was coming on the poster because the whole country because Canada High Commission Indian High Commission alerted Canada High Commission to stop they apologized the museum apologized so now if Mohua Maitra Mohua Maitra could have said that I don't know she couldn't have the react but she reacted and this is not a theological academic discussion discourse it's a political you have to be right. politically correct because BJP was searching a Nupur Sharma in the opposition so it's a counter strategy because if I am a BJP leader for Suvendu Adhikari I think it's a just mm -hmm. uh, 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 strategy counter strategy and they did it and in West Bengal 30 percent Muslim vote and Subhendu Adhikari said that we have to destabilize, dislodge this jihadi government. So it suits. So now Mamta Banerjee is a smart politician. She okay. understood the gravity of the situation and she immediately disowned. Okay. And now what Sohwata has said, I'm completing my, I mean, take that it depends on Mohua now. Now right. it's a poetry. Tomorrow, if Mohua says anything more, she is a Lok Sabha member. 2024, till 2024, you cannot right. disturb her. But as a spokesperson, as a party person, more actions can be taken if right. she again and again speaks Janta, more. I'm going to so bring in our political panelist, but I'm going to ask Mohua. you one very quick question. Does, you know, the fact of uh, the reaction of the TMC being this extreme also has to do with the fact that Mahua Moitra enjoys a less than easy relationship with Abhishek Banerjee? No, I think it is not the issue. I mean, it is not the internal dynamics because right. Avishek Banerjee also uh, endorsed this move and what you are saying, that is an uh, old story, but now mm -hmm. it's a uh, uh, two-in-one party politics and 21st July, the great uh, rally is coming uh, and now before that, party wants to consolidate and right. Subhendu Odhikari was on road and demanding arrest. So, so okay. it's a very, very complicated right. so Janda, a highly, situation it's, it's a move TMC. which has been taken into consideration keeping the politics and the lay of the land in question. I want to bring in Saket Gokhale as well and uh, Sanju Verma into this conversation. Saket Gokhale, uh, you know, it's one thing to say that we disassociate with this comment. It's another to say we condemn it. And then it's entirely different to come out and say we are going to take action against Mahua Moitra. Has the TMC abandoned Mahua Moitra? No, see, there is no question of, you know, owning or abandoning at the end of the day. I mean, the individual in question or all of us are grown-ups here. The individual is a member of parliament as well. So there is no question of anybody owning. I mean, you know, we are not the BJP where we own people in our party where, you know, we establish our fundamental right over the agency of people. What she said, as we've said, is, was a personal comment, was a personal uh, observation or whatever, personal opinion, and the party does not agree with it. Now, as the question of taking action goes, uh, our honorable chairperson will decide. I mean, you see, here's the thing. You know, the BJP has consistently, even today, been saying that, oh, we're comparing this with the Nupur Sharma incident, etc. It took at least 19 countries to have the Indian ambassador summoned before the BJP even issued a statement in that statement, they said, we respect all religions. We don't tolerate disrespect of any religion. They didn't mention Nupur Sharma. They didn't mention her comments. They didn't mention anything. So in this case, it's been two days. And the only people whose sentiments seem to be heard on the street are BJP workers. So fine, we are not standing in the way. There have been FIRs registered in a lot of states, is what we heard. And yesterday, Professor Sogata Roy, one of our members of parliament, also very clearly said, we are not standing in the way. So if there is any police agency which has registered an FIR, wants to conduct any, any action or, or proceed with its investigation, we are not interfering in any of mm -hmm. that. Okay. But we will not take lessons from the BJP because okay. even after the Supreme Court's observations, the Delhi police which comes under Home Minister Amit has still not arrested Nupur okay. Shah. But Mr. Gokhale, the, the fact is, there are, clearly there seems to be uh, you know, just more than the BJP workers who have taken offence, the sheer fact that your party tweeted out that you don't just distance yourself, but you condemn uh, with what she say. But having said that, uh, bringing in uh, Sanju Verma into this conversation, Ms. Verma, you've asked for the arrest of uh, Mahua Moitra, uh, whereas 
of your governments. There are FIRs in Assam, in Madhya Pradesh and the Delhi BJP cell today says arrest her. But the virtue of the fact, shouldn't Nupur Sharma also be arrested? You know, Preeti, there have been umpteen debates, a zillion debates on Nupur Sharma. And I'll come to that. What I fail to fathom is that each time there is an issue related to the opposition, how conveniently the narrative shifts to the BJP. Today, the person who should be put in the dock is Mahua Moitra because A, when you're a member of parliament, Preeti, not merely the national person of the ruling party, which is what Nupur Sharma was, you owe a lot to your constituency. And your constituency is a much larger, uh, you know, uh, gamut uh, and a much larger cross-section of society. Point number two, Mahua Maitra did not even so much as express any remorse. She has brazenly tried to brazen it out very defiantly at that. Point number three, as you rightly said, this is not just about hurting BJP sentiment. This is about hurting the sentiment of more than 100 crore Hindus in a country of about 138 crore people. Point number four, and more importantly, Preeti, sometimes uh, passions are inflamed, and on the spur of the moment, there are times when under grave provocation, you might make a statement which you regret in hindsight. But in the case of Mahua Moitra, she is a rabidly repeat offender because your channel has also put some of her tweets out over the last 48 odd hours. On the 24th of May 2021, she says, Welcome to the Susu 40 Republic of India, where you drink cow urine, sprinkle cow dung, and the law of the land is flushed down the toilet. Look at this kind of language use. Then this repeat offender called Mahua Maitra also says that Nishika Dubey, who's one of the MPs of BJP from Jharkhand, is a Bihari Dunda. I don't know what was the need to bring Bihar into it. She calls Giriraj Singh a Choti Dhari Rakshasa, basically again taking a jibe or a swipe, what you will, at Brahmin. So A, Mahua Maitra did not make an out-of-context statement under provocation. She is a repeat offender and that is what distinguishes her from Nupur Sharma, by the way, Nupur Sharma has publicly apologized and her apology is there on her Twitter handle for ignoramuses who wish to come and peddle half truth here. And I just want to end, CP, 20 seconds I'll take by telling you, I've been on some debates. I'm a proud Hindu and I've been on debates where uh, some Bengali families have said that do not teach us how to do Kali Puja. We worship, uh, we worship Goddess Kali in a specific way in Bengal. I just want to say, in the, in the Vishnu Purana, we have 18 Mahapuranas in, Hindu, in Hinduism. There it is said that Goddess Kali is an avatar of Goddess Parvati. And Goddess Parvati loves to eat the remnants of food left by Bhagwan Shivji, who himself is a vegetarian and a strong Vaishnav. Goddess Parvati is also a strong Vaishnav. And Goddess Kali is, a, is also a strong Vaishnav. Written in the Vishnu Purana, and they say okay. that the bhog which is offered during Kali Puja, in some places I agree, the bhog could be meat and wine. But it is clearly written in our Puranas that okay. bhog is meant for the Bhutas, Pishachas, Yakshinis, and the Rakshasas okay. who happen to be associated with right. Goddess Kali. Okay, I want to bring in back Saket Gokhri in this conversation. Two points though. Uh, you know, um, Sanju Varma, that you raised, number one, you said Nupur Sharma's apologized. Well, that apology was clearly not accepted. The Supreme Court of India has gone ahead, said loose tongue, set the entire country on fire, apologized to the country. That apology has not come, even after what the Supreme Court has said. Madam, that is coming from the Supreme Court. You named two other leaders, Nishikan Dubey and Giriraj Singh Ji. Both of them, if you look at the statements they have made, none the richer. I can take out statements that will deeply embarrass the BJP on both of them, what they've said. So, ma'am, let's not go into that. Let's keep the debate uh, to what it is. But, Saket Gokhale, there is a point. The fact is, Nupur Sharma did apologize. Whether, be it on Facebook, she did extend that apology. Whether or not it was accepted by the apex court or not, asking her to apologize, but it did come in. Like I said earlier, you know, number one, Let's not call Nupur Sharma's apology an apology because it was a what about me as the spokesperson was doing. Same thing, I was provoked and therefore I reacted. That wasn't an apology, number one. Number two, like we said, we condemn, we condemn the way the entire manner in which things are being expressed. 
this is not how it should be. See, remember the root of this is a poster that was clearly very provocative, a poster that was made purely for publicity reasons. I, that, I see that the filmmaker today has come out with another tweet, which is, you know, she's also doubling down on her stand, etc. The problem with things like these is, you know, people, you know, filmmakers sitting in Canada can make these posters, but tomorrow when tensions occur, communal tensions occur, it's average people that get affected. So which is why we've repeatedly said, we condemn the statement that was made, but the BJP has now diverted the focus from the poster to the statements made by the MP because they know this filmmaker sitting in Canada, they cannot do anything about it. So the focus has been, so you tell me what was offensive, the poster is offensive. If the question is about the poster, the poster is indeed offensive. And the third thing here is that if somebody is doubling down, if somebody is refusing to back down, like I said, we as a party do not support this individual, the Member of Parliament statements. We condemn what this person has said. We have very clear views as far as the poster, the objectionable poster goes. Now, beyond that, if the BJP, what see, here's the thing, they're looking for some kind of a political issue. Because in Bengal, they've been trying, they try in Maharashtra, they try in Bengal, they try to, you know, target the government in Bengal, they've been made very irrelevant. It's a state that's been very important for them. So here you see the BJP people getting okay. on the street. Tell me an average individual, I mean, how, how many, I'm asking this question, you, you named about a dozen FIRs that have been filed. How many of these have been common people? No, these are groups affiliated to the Sant Parivar and the BJP that are filing FIRs. So does the BJP claim to represent all Hindus of India? The other panelist was saying that she is a Hindu and was talking about some Bengali co-panelists. Well, my party is from Bengal. I am a Maharashtrian. I am also a Hindu. Who gave the BJP monopoly over Hindus in this country? Okay. I want to bring in, I know, okay. May I bring in Janto back into this conversation and I'll come back to you, Ms. Verma. Uh, Janto Ghosal, I want to pull you back in. And the question I want to ask you, you know, when it comes down to Mahua Moitra, she said, that okay, I didn't know what the poster was, I didn't know what the film was, this was after she made that statement on our very dais on India Today. The fact is, if she didn't know, Janto, what is stopping her from coming out and making a public apology, saying, okay, listen, I didn't know, so I didn't get the context of it, this is what I meant to say, instead of being a little churlish, what many would suggest, is to unfollow the Twitter handle of the TMC. What is she hoping to achieve with all of this? Actually, what she said, I mean, the, on the Ma Kali's uh, worship process, what now, now the leadership is talking to her and uh, we should wait for some time because on Kamakha Mandir also, it's not in West Bengal, in Assam. Assam yes. What our co-panelist was saying, that in Kamakha also animal sacrifice is still on in spite of all the United Nations and the environment and all these guidelines. And I visited Mahakal Mandir of Indore. They are also, I mean, this sort of sacrifice from the Samsan Ghat, the Tantra, Tantric sect, they come and they give the worship. So it's a, it's a, it's a theological and the academic debate. Mohua is saying what she is saying. That is not the, in the context of the political thing. She, she is ready to give the clarification. But you know, in politics sometimes, it is more strategic. If you react... Right. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, now it's a catch-22 situation for Mahua. It's a political incorrect statement. It's, a, it's, a, it's not an academic. In Oxford, there is a research is on, on Tantric sect and the Vaishnav <laughs> sect. Hinduism is an inclusivist. You can, you know, a lot of fruit sacrifice. Jantar, we don't want to go into that. Yeah, you know, that debate is a separate, yes. But that, now... Right. That debate is a so separate debate, now, yes. Now, it's a, it's a, it's a politically, yes. politically... Uh, now, Mamta Banerjee is trying to understand that what is the impact of the BJP's political... Right. Because, you know, it's a political polarization is coming from the religious polarization. Right. If you can do, it's a Hindu-Muslim. So, right? it's more a political Asaf, issue a than a religious is theological so it's issue. A, it's an advantage BJP. Right, and it is, I agree. If you can polarize the vote bank... Well, Sanju so, Varma, so for you, actually, it seems to have come a, in as manna the, from heaven because... You have now a Mahua Moitra where you can completely shift focus where the attention was on Nupur Sharma. Now you have Mahua Moitra to, you know, target. Come on, Preeti, no, I credit you with BJP far more than wanted that. wanted to get you know, okay, see, uh, I did not yes, yes, anybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah Mr. Varma, go please. ahead. Ms. Varma, go ahead. Yes, sorry, thank sorry. you, Preeti. Preeti, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, you are too I could not understand. to, you know, make that kind of a comment that the BJP was looking at, uh, you know, um, 
an opportunity to uh, hit back at detractors of Nupur Sharma. Uh, anybody who knows the BJP even a wee bit knows that is not how we function. You know, Preeti, I believe that people in public life, I mean, we are all prone to uh, being uh, passionate at given points in time and perhaps breaching that line. Uh, but I think one uh, thing is very clear that in public life, uh, as they say, uh, discretion is the better part of valor and we need to be uh, discreet. Uh, I did not want to politicize this, uh, but since uh, the TMC panelists said that the BJP has been made irrelevant and is looking at issues, I would like to tell them, prior to the Tripura civic body polls a couple of months back, where 334 seats were up for grabs, the TMC dandied about, went about town treaty, saying that the BJP will be decimated. And what happened? BJP had a strike rate of 90% plus, winning 329 out of the 334 seats. Your Trinamul Congress won just one seat. You were I'll come before. to you, sir. I'll come to you. Let her finish. Madam, make the your point. Trinamool I'll go across to Mr. Congress, The Trinamul Congress, despite false bravado and bombastic claims in the recently held assembly elections in Goa, your people lost their deposits. You were wiped out. You did not win any substantive seats. And you supported okay. Akhilesh Yadav in Uttar Pradesh. He was also wiped out. So please stop, you know, brandishing about the electoral decrease in front of the BJP. We rule more than 60% of the country. And I'm very proud to say we do it because we genuinely believe in Sabka okay. Saab, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Vishwa, and Sabka Praya, which is not just political jugglery for us. You know, Preeti, I will end by saying this. Sorry, I would like to... I'm like coming to you, sir. I'll come to you. I'll, I will give you your time. Let her make her point. I'll yes. come to you. Preeti, Preeti, I will just say this. Uh, you very rightfully, uh, you know, uh, quoted the Supreme Court uh, judgment, basically Justice Surya Kant and Justice Pardi Wala, who came down heavily on Nupur Sharma, but without wanting to run foul of what the court said, I will just say that what Justice Surya Kant said did not form a part of the written judgment. It but Madam, been, no, 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 let's not get into that. There have been a lot of judgments which have not been written. Let's not get into that. And if, if the BJP doesn't concur with what the court said, why then remove her from spokesmanship? Why send that letter to all those countries no, and say I we regret what you, she said? Preeti. Okay, having Preeti, said that, Madam. I madam. agree on that. Okay. We now, Madam, you've had your say. Statement. You've had your say. Let me bring in Saket Gokhale into this conversation. Mr. Gokhale, the fact is at least you would admit that Mahua Moitra has not just put herself, but your party in a very tight spot. No, not... I mean, here's the thing. As we said, it's in individuals' opinions. We don't go around censuring people and giving them scripts or, you know, ask them to read off a teleprompter. We don't function in that way as a party. Uh, the panelists, I have to address the fact about electoral victories. You know, the BJP keeps saying, Sabka Saad, Sabka Vika, Sabka Prayas. That Sabka Prayas, that Sabka includes ED, CBI, and other agencies, income tax, and all of those. So let's not talk about who the subka is. But, and the third thing about the Supreme Court order, this, this, I have to address this, because I've been hearing this from BJP spokesmen, this in debates constantly, that what the justice is, the bench said in the Supreme Court, did not make it to the order. It didn't make it to the order because Nupur Sharma's counsel withdrew the petition. And therefore, the order said, petition is allowed to be withdrawn. Had they waited for a verdict, the court would have said all those things in its order. The question of whether party being in a tight spot or not being in a tight spot, look, we won with an overwhelming mandate last year. Here the BJP spokespersons talk about Tripura bipoles. This was an election where Prime Minister Modi and Home Minister Shah made it a prestige issue about themselves. And yet the BJP was trounced. Mr. Amit Shah was saying 200 plus they would go. They didn't even get up to double, triple digits. So the question here is that, no, we are not in a corner. Okay. As we said, we have, we have comments made by a member of our party. We condemn those okay. comments. They were made in a personal capacity. We are not standing in the way of any legal action that might be taken. That is entirely her responsibility. Going beyond that, but one thing I would like to reiterate is we are accountable to the people of India. I, as okay. the representative of a party or a public official, am accountable to the people of India. None of us are accountable to the Bharatiya Janata okay. Party. May I just end so on that, sir? That's all the time I have. With the, the permission BJ. of all three panelists, may I please, uh, you know, bow out of this debate? Appreciate all three of you for joining us. Uh, you know, the debate is going to continue, but the focus now is also going to be on the TMC because our, uh, you know, esteemed panelists from the TMC might not agree to the fact, but yes, the TMC is in a tight spot, as even what Mr. Goshal said. What is the TMC going to do right now? Because Maua Moitra is not backing down. What she said very clearly is, bring it on.
and let's see what comes on in the days ahead.